What's going on, everyone? Justin here from the TNC Sports Talk YouTube channel. I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about something that's been going on that's pretty special. We actually got a chance to interview a handful of guests back in January as they were putting on a theater play down there at the Community Arts Center in Fairfield, Ohio. A uh, play that was written and directed by Terry Chapel II, and it is presented by Enlightened Studios. That is Love is Not Enough, a uh, assembled of cast seasoned actors who tell a story of struggles of their relationships. Together, they endure conflicts of life in a dose of reality, and it was a huge success. Out of They blew it out of the water. And, uh, you know, with that being said, they got the chance to come back on here and put on an encore uh, Easter weekend coming up April 7th. They'll have a show at 7 p.m. And then on April 8th, they'll come back and put on the final show at at 3 p.m. So I suggest getting your tickets early because they're getting so, you know, they're starting to sell quickly. Um, and listen, uh, we are conducting interviews again, getting a chance to sit down with both the cast members and some of the audiences. Great group of people. I definitely encourage you uh, to listen into these interviews. And if you guys are in the area and you guys have uh, opening times uh, Easter weekend, come out and check the performance. You guys get your tickets today at the Art Community Arts Center in Fairfield, Ohio. And uh, thank you guys for listening and enjoy the interview. Like no one can Where is your heart? What does it look like? Bruised Damaged or mistreated Alrighty, we're joined here at this time, uh, Brittany Brown, who plays uh, Rachel, the uh, wife to Brandon and the daughter to Nathan and Laura in the uh, theater, uh, theoretical, uh, theater play, sorry, uh, Love's Not Enough, um, that we, uh, that you guys had a, you guys did a couple of performances a couple weeks ago, and you guys will be doing a couple more performances coming up here on Easter weekend, April uh, 7th and the 8th, two more performances. And before hopefully you guys get to head on the road and start traveling. Um, welcome. Thank you for coming back on our, uh, on the program. No problem. It's an honor to be here. So, I mean, I want to, I, I just want to hear about it. How, how was the performance? You, Cause you guys had a, you know, it was a massive weekend for you guys. It was yeah. a successful weekend. Um, just tell us about, uh, how your overall experience in the, uh, 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 production weekend that you guys had a couple weeks ago? Um, it was amazing. Like that was the first time that I had been on like a big theater, you know, setting like that. And it was nothing short of amazing. Um, we got tons of feedback from the audience who absolutely loved the show. Um, and it was just, it was amazing opportunity. It was so nice backstage. The, Fairfield Arts Community Center, they were absolutely nice. Um, it was one of the best performances I've ever been in. You know, and if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, were you, were you part of the original cast back in 2019? Yes. Did you also play Rachel as well? Yes. Okay. So in comparison, because I know every time – People go out there and perform. You want to have a better show than last time. Mm -hmm. How do you feel with the new um, exciting roles that were revamped that Terry did? How did you feel that this performance did this performance did overall compared to the one in 2019? Um, it was a lot better. Um, not saying that 2019 wasn't good, yeah. but we changed the story around a little bit. We added some new characters so how in 2019, you know, people love the show, but in January, people really love the show. We got a lot of feedback from people who it came in 2019 and it came back in January and they said, oh my God, it's, it's amazing. You all changed the story around a little bit. We love it. And coming up, it's going to be a few more changes too. Okay. So the one that's coming up here on April 7th and 8th, there's going to be some other fine line tuning changes that could 
maybe help the show performance run more smoothly, right? Definitely. They're going to see more of Brandon's relationship with Rachel's parents. Okay. Okay. Um, so, you know, usually, cause this is, this is a uh, written and directed by Terry. Mm-hmm. This is produced by enlightened studios. And are you guys capable of having the same exact, uh, cast members or have some, some roles changed in a, in a bit? So we have the same cast members. Okay. Uh, which helps because we all bond really well together. There's a lot of chemistry between all of us. Um, so we're kind of like a family and that definitely helps because mm-hmm. we're all familiar with acting with each other from, of course, from January. Yeah. So, okay. So you play the, and, and uh, this is a perfect picture, no? Um, yes. <laughs> so you play the husband of Brandon. Um mm-hmm. You know, you had a had a handful of performances. You actually had a double header on Saturday, yep. and then you had to finish off on Sunday. Um, I I know a lot. There's you had a you guys have a distinctive uh, you know enlightened group. You know, mm-hmm. from people who've never done it before, the people who've been doing it for years. You've had. You, I think you even grabbed somebody that was that was more into like the actual movie set you yep. know, that changed into the theater play. Um, you know, can you just kind of explain or describe the um, the family-oriented relationship getting ready for plays like this, um, especially having to do it all over again? Right. Um, so we definitely missed each other <laughs> when the show was over. So we were very excited to get back to rehearsals. And now rehearsals are different. So as we're getting ready for January, we were all learning the lines and learning the, you know, stage, learning what to do. Now we all kind of have that same bond. So it's definitely easier. Rehearsals go much smoother because we don't have to really learn as much now. We can more like, okay, so this time I think I'd rather do this. So now there's going to be even more energy because we're in January, you know, we were, we had energy. But yeah. we were making sure we had all the lines right, you know, the staging right, blocking right. And now because we're familiar, we can definitely help each other more. And even those new actors, they're like pros now because we've worked together and they kind of feed off of those who have been acting already. So we're uh, talking with uh, Brittany Brown, uh, plays Rachel, the husband of Brandon and Love's Not Enough. That will be. Um, you guys are having a re-performance on April 7th yes. uh, at 7 p.m. And then mm-hmm. on April 8th at, at 3 p.m. Yep. Hopefully after this, you guys can start working on taking this on the road, mm-hmm. spreading the message. Because Love's Not Enough is a lot more than just a theater play. It really digs deep into idolizing messages of relationships in life that a lot of people um, avoid confronting. And yep. so, you know... I know it was a big trying to under, you know, for as big for me last time talking to you guys, trying to understand your guys' purpose or message heading into the play. The the one part that I wanted you guys to, you know, maybe give to the audience so they could take mm-hmm. away. Has that changed for you or, you know, are you still confident in the same message that we had, you know, from the last time? Um, still confident. Um, and the message they'll definitely take away in this show that's different from January because mm-hmm. they see more of Brandon's you know, relationship with Rachel's parents, they're going to see how Brandon stands up for himself because the parents take advantage of him. (laughs) But this time they're definitely going to see him having a voice speaking for himself because in January, they really didn't see a lot of that. He just kind of took it and set back. But now they will definitely see Brandon's personality in every aspect. Yeah, that's and I, I unfortunately I didn't get a chance to make it out to it. I had prior commitments, um, knowing the now what I'm, you know, the dates of. I mean, I've been talking about it. It's kind of one of those, you know, if you have nothing going on for the weekend, mm-hmm. check out uh, up at the community arts center, Fairfield. Are are the prices still the same? Kind of in the same um, range. Kind of, but I will say, if you yeah. want tickets, please get them online. Because they're five dollars more at the door. Oh, okay. But you definitely want to get them online because we have a feeling this show will sell out. Oh, really? Okay. That's our goal. 
How was the um, initial uh, response to the crowd? Uh, was uh, um, was it a, a packed crowd? I mean, I did see a couple of pictures of it, it being uh -huh. pretty full a couple of nights. Yeah, it, it got pretty full. Okay. Um, it got pretty full pretty fast. We actually didn't expect that crowd or even them to react the way they did, but they were really okay. into it and they brought more people with them. I had a few people okay. that came to the second show. They came back again and oh, really? people with them. And we even had people in the parking lot one morning before the theater even opened asking, can we get tickets? So that was wow. definitely exciting to see that people were lining up to see us. Okay. So here's just, um, I guess, just picking your brain here about being a, you know, an actress, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, you see that crowd and you go out on the stage, you see it being packed and full and you see the reaction that you got last time. Yeah. Does it give, does, does it, what does it do for you? Does it build like nerves? Do you like, okay, I got to do better this time around than last time. How do you, how do you feel about that? Um, so personally me, I love being on stage. Um, I've been acting since I was nine. So I definitely do not get jitters at all. I used to, but now I have, I never have jitters. Um, actually seeing that audience inspires me to do more. Um, okay. I love going out and seeing a packed audience. Um, a lot of actors don't like to look at the audience, but I'm that person. I want to look dead smack in their eyes and talk to them. And it definitely helped me in January and in 2019, because when you see the actors getting into it, mm. you can talk more to the audience and pull them in. So they're kind of feeling the same thing that you're feeling. So I love when there's audience. I love looking them straight in the eyes and bringing them into the conversation. Definitely. I I could only imagine it just builds, you know, probably the initial reaction would be like, oh my, hopefully everything goes well, but you guys have done this enough to where it's like, it just motivates you and it makes you feel, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it should make you feel that, okay, I, we got a good reaction from, you know, this crowd, local community, you know, we're doing something right here, whether it's promotion, whether it's actually putting on a great performance, you know, and hopefully this carries on on the road. Is there anything else that you're possibly working on um, or that you want to maybe say here um, at the end of what you're personally doing or, you know, other plays? Uh, or So I am actually working on a lot. I mm -hmm. actually graduated from Ohio Media School. Oh, congratulations. So I'm here for film emphasis. So okay. right now I'm actually starting to write my own plays. And okay. I'm pretty excited because I know what I can do as an actress. Mm -hmm. And that definitely helps me write my own, you know, things. I'm starting to get into music more and write my own music. So I'm definitely doing a lot, including starting a podcast. Okay. Um, I have a lot, a lot coming up. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you, so, you know, you're mentioning something interesting. You're starting, you know, you just graduated. Congratulations. Okay. I've actually been kind of lingering into the Ohio media because I've been doing this podcasting for so long and I get emails and emails. Hey, join us now. And I'm like, yes. <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I want the freedom with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that if I start doing other things, I lose that freedom. You know what I'm saying? From the ability of, you know, doing my own show and whatnot. But so, but you mentioned a, a personal thing, um, how you're starting to write your own plays and yeah. you've learned a lot, you know, you could take what you've learned from acting uh -huh. into a display, but you know, Terry's also done the very similar thing. You know, he's doing it right now. You know, he, he wrote this play, he's directed this yeah. play. He's also having to play a main role into this and to casting. How much, if at all, are you maybe grabbing and taking from Terry and the knowledge and the wisdom to pass on and help with your work? Oh, everything. Um, he literally told me, okay, this is how you start. You know, if you need help, let me know. And because I know his success in things that he writes, I definitely like, okay, Terry, I need help with this, you know, <laughs> I let him read most of my things that I write because I'm like, okay, if it sounds right to him, yeah. then it's okay. You know, because I'm just now starting. So he definitely is a big help when you're trying to write things and you're new to writing. Definitely. And I also think maybe that's a, a message to in general for enlightened studios, mm -hmm. because one thing I've learned from the previous interviews and the one thing I've taken away and I still want to just emphasize to everyone who has, you know, hasn't heard of Enlightened Studios, it's not just, a, it, you know, it's not just 
you go in there and do your work and get out. It's a family. Yeah. It's, you know, oriented around working with each other, helping each other, building each mm-hmm. other up, you know, from all aspects, whether you're just learning how to be an actor, an actress, or yep. you're trying, you know, like you're doing, writing your own plays. Um, Brittany, thank you for your time. Um, and we wish you the best of luck April 7th and 8th. Um, yep. Love's not enough. Uh, love's not enough. Two more plays. Uh, over Easter weekend, and uh, that will be done at the Community Arts Center in Fairfield, Ohio. Tickets are available still, like you mentioned. Get them online. Don't get them at the door. Um, and I'm I'm working on trying to see if I could get out there this week awesome. that weekend as well. So um, hopefully, you know, like I said, wish you the best of luck, and thank you for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. All righty, that was uh, Brittany Brown. Thank you.